hey if you want to create sawtooth wave like this or triangular wave like this or bidirectional triangular wave like this then this is the video for you so how to create this type of waveforms in matlab in simulink that is what we are going to learn in this video so without wasting time let's get started so first of all we'll go to the library to create sawtooth wave you can go to this sources in sources this is very useful block repeating sequence so add this to our untitled folder and then to observe the waveform we will use scope so in sinks we will go to scope and we will add it so here we have two blocks the first block is of repeating sequence and the second one is scope we will connect these two when you double click it and open this repeating sequence block will pop up this is the block parameter of the first tab you need to enter the time and in second tab you need to enter the value value means the amplitude of your signal the sawtooth wave looks like this so to create that waveform what you need to do you just need to enter the value of time 0 and 2 to represent second and the amplitude we have kept it as 0 and 5 Right, so peak amplitude will be a 5 and again after that it will keep on repeating the sequence. So it will begin with 0 second and maximum around at 2 second. Again from the very next instant it will start from 0. So let's make it ok. Run the sequence. And this is how it look like. If it does not look appropriate, what you can do, just close this thing, go to simulation, model configuration parameters, and from here you can change the maximum step size and make it to 1 e minus 4. Alright, okay, and run it again. And now you can observe the change in waveform. It looks more appropriate. So it has started with 0, maximum amplitude of 5. From that instant, it again goes to 0 and linearly increases up to 5. There are two parameters that you can control. The first parameter is starting point and the ending point. And the second parameter is the magnitude at starting point and the magnitude at ending point. So using these two parameters, you can create the sawtooth wave. Now we'll close it. Instead of sort of wave, if you want to create triangular wave, that too you can create using this repeating signal. So just imagine how does a triangular wave looks like. Here is the picture. So if you want to create triangular wave like this, then we need to define three times: the initial point, the middle peak point, and again the ending point. So we'll open it. We'll provide three times over here: zero, then one and then 2 at 0 second our amplitude will be 0 at 1 second our amplitude will be 5 and again at 2 second our amplitude will be 0 let's make it ok over here you can observe the pattern of waveform on the block appears like a triangular wave so run it again open and this is the triangular wave so this is how it can generate the triangular wave Let's close this thing. Now let's suppose we want to generate some different signal. Uh, for example, here we are taking all the values in seconds. So instead of this, uh, let's suppose our frequency is predefined. Uh, let's say 50 Hz. So if the frequency is 50 Hz, the, the full cycle will end in 0 0.02 seconds, right? So initial it begins with 0 second and the cycle complete cycle ends in 0 0.02 seconds. In this time frame uh, I want to create a bidirectional triangular wave which starts with 0 goes to plus 1 again to 0 minus 1 and 0 right. So what I need to do I need to divide this signal. So first thing I will do is 0 0.02 divide by 
2 so it will create the center point again over here 0, 0.0 divided by 4 so it will create the center point of these two points and over here I will add one more point. <coughs> so I have created all the points for 50 hertz frequency and now I will give the values for example it is 0 then it goes to 1 again come back to 0 then minus 1 and again come back to 0. So the waveform is ready amplitude I have given ok. Again, you can see it appears that the waveform changes its shape and you can see the change in waveform, right? Now we will horizontally expand it. So it begins with 0, how will identify it? What verify it, we should do it in initial phase, it starts with 0, goes to plus 1, come back to 0 minus 1 and again come back to 0 so this sequence will be repeated for the full simulation time so this is how you can create this type of bi-directional triangular wave tool so there are so many signals that you can generate in MATLAB so that's all from this video if you want to learn more about MATLAB then you can visit my MATLAB playlist and learn so many things about playlist if you want to ask me anything, you can join me on my telegram page or you can join me on my Instagram. So until we meet again in our next video, till the time, bye bye.